All right, this next match is going to be a good one. It is No Dawes versus Fly Rye 87, expert front nine on Craw Dad Swamp. Seven seed No Dawes, two seed Fly Rye. I'm just going to shorten these. I'm probably saying No Dawes completely wrong, but that's just me. It is Wednesday, Thursday, some kind of day this week. But Craw Dad Swamp, our Golden T4 remaster course from 2003, I believe came back to Golden Tee a few years ago in the arcade game and now has made its way to Golden Tee Mobile. So this, uh, even though it's the front nine, there's a lot of water on this course, there's a lot of trees, there's a lot of opportunity um, to, to screw up here and, and lose some strokes and I'm saying that from uh, unfortunately plenty of experience. So these guys, just like that shot right there, much much better than me at Golden Tee Mobile. So I expect this to be a pretty good, you know, high quality match. Oh, right there. Thought we were going to get the great shot points with the hole out. Still 9,000 plus shot points there. Let's take a look at the replay. See, if I try to think, if I say that's going to go in, it doesn't drop. If I say it is not going to and then it does, it's, you know, it's, it's endless cycle. But both these guys tied after one. But Fly Rye with the GSP lead, 9,432. Now this is a fun little par four, drivable. Look at that sniper, boom, right on the hole. Almost 18,000 more shot points. That was a beauty. This is a hole you really gotta worry about those trees. Clearly not a problem for these guys. Spot on. Uh, let's see if Fly Rye can do the same. Wow, even closer, I think. All right, maybe not. It looked closer at first. That's my fault. All right, so both golfers on the board now with great shot points. I believe Fly Rye is still going to be in the lead, having GSPs on one and two. Uh, but beautiful shots by both these guys. Real easy putts in for Eagle. And we've got three all going in to the first par three. Nice little shot in. Oh, right past the right side of the cup. Coming a little hot there. Eight iron with the wind cutter here. I like where this is going. Get in there. Oh, come on. Right there again. The edge of that cup. 10,000 more shot points. Now, this is a competitive match here. Watch the replay. Our friend from Canada. At least I'm going to assume from Canada with the moose head and the Canadian jersey on, but beautiful, beautiful use of the wind cutters there. And just like that, all right, fly right with more GSPs, but there's still a chance here for no Dawes. Oh, is he going to stick it? Stop. All right, perfect. Beautiful shot in there. This is a par five. It can be tricky depending on which one of those landing areas you are aiming for. A little bit of a different shot there. I love the iron going into this. Use that up six, right three slope. It slowed down a bit much, uh, a bit quicker than I thought. Oh, there you go. Get in there. Oh. Boom, in the cup, take another eagle, fly right, not far off from there, boom, in. 11,000 shot points separate both these guys right now. Another tricky par four around trees and water, and just like that, on the green, nice little golden six wood, let's see what he does, I like this, boom, all right. No shot points. Come on. That that was highway robbery right there. I thought that was shot points, but again, I say every shot should get shot points. And it probably doesn't. And maybe it's because I'm watching this on a mobile device. It was, the, the, the hole looks smaller, but come on. Got to be given out those great shot points. Now, this par four, number six, is sometimes drivable in the arcade game. 
don't think that's ever going to be possible here in mobile, but you never know. I like it! That's got to be, I was going to say. I don't even want to jinx it, but that's got to be great shot points. Let's take a look at the replay. on it two feet away. Another great shot. Oh, just like that. Back-to-back -back shot points for both these golfers on, on this hole. Probably the trickiest par five on this course, but especially in this match on the front nine. That's pretty much the spot on area you want to be. Highest peak in the fairway. Going to make life a lot easier when you're hitting or trying at least to hit over those big trees right in the middle of the swamp. Little wind cutter action with the four wood. Is that going to get up there? Oh, it doesn't. Wow. That was beautiful. Alright, different strategy here using the uh, little bit of backspin. Boom. More great shot points. guys taking the eagle putt which is uh, not an easy feat but no Dawes is down significantly in the GSP department so if he's gonna make a run here he's gotta get something together and he doesn't a little bit past fly ride not surprised if he gets GSPs here let's be honest he is a magnet on crawdad swamp oh wow almost the one hop or the two hop right in the cup Alright, so these guys tied and score, but the great shot points. Fly ride just racking them up here. The tough thing for Nodos is this is a very simple par 4 on hole 9. So, unless he holds this out, um, yeah, I'm not sure if there's a, really a, realistically a way for him to come back. Oh, it looks good. I like that. Just short. Just shy of GSPs. Alright, can he make it? Oh, this is beautiful if he makes this to end it. Oh! He's got the shot points, but only 10,000. He needed to hold that out. But, I mean... For Crawdad Swamp being as uh, difficult as a course as it may be with all that water, um, I, you can't knock either of these guys. Fly Ride, putting in, moving on in our 16th seed Golden Team Mobile World Championship qualifier. We are a month away, almost a little over a month away. Actually, it is a month before I turn 30, which makes me feel old, but I will be celebrating it with you guys in Las Vegas the uh, weekend of July 9th. Um, with the Mobile World Championships. So congrats to Fly Rye. 87 moves on with that giant uh, 25,000 GSP lead over Nodos. And with that, we'll see you guys with the rest of these games next week.